you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. And I must say, it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue. Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Fulham, and they face Brentford. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And they kick off here. A very effective challenge put in. Pereira, it has to be! Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Trying to pick out a teammate. And Brentford have it back now. Now well, racing past his man. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. to deal with the threat into the advanced position well didn't go as a plan in the end can they do something positive on the counter attack Josh Da Silva Really intense pressure applied. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. 
Leno, routine save, really. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Really getting stuck in. Please contact your nearest steward. Thank you. Well, the attack looks promising. He's in here. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Oh dear, oh dear. The goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Chances on. And they bought themselves a bit of time. Being pressed and pressed high. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Might really be able to trouble them here. Can he get them in front? Squanders the chance for 1-0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Good pressure high up the pitch. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, a bit wasteful in possession. Plenty of support here. But quick thinking defensively. Make some progress with the ball at his feet. They know routine save, really. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. It might be. And saved by the keeper. Well, they fancy a short one. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, a bit short with the clearance takes it on and good work to deny the chance well opting for the short corner behind for another corner can they cash in
But he's gone short with it. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. He continues his run. And let's give credit to the defending. Oh, and the flag goes up. Well, he needs to be more aware there. He didn't work hard enough to stay on side. They've got it now, what can they do? Extremely sloppy in possession. Real chance. Josh Da Silva. He has teammates around him. And beyond the last defender, offside. And continues his run. And he takes on the shot. Superb block. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it still could be dangerous. And problem solved for now. And the referee's whistle. We're officially at the halfway mark here in West London. And now they get the ball rolling. Pereira. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Perfect tackle. And in with a real chance. Can he finish? Oh, it's gone in. A derby goal. The first of the contest. Electric. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space. But he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Jensen. Plenty of support here. Firing it towards goal, but it wasn't a taxing save.
Full them unable to retain possession. In with a chance. And just like that, the break has stopped. Really top quality defending. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. And Brentford come away with it. That's useful play. He's in with a chance. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. A very effective challenge put in. Now, was that the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? And I think that's one we could have called from five miles away, Stuart. Clear red card offence. Well, you've obviously got very good eyesight, but no doubt about that. He stopped a goal-scoring opportunity there. He had to go. I had my eyes tested last week, I'll have you know. No luck keeping possession. Being pressed and pressed high. Well, Fulham haven't been able to dominate possession, as those stats tell us. But their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. He's got to score! Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, disappointing end to the move. Bodies forward and the break looks on. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Effective pressure to regain possession. Making progress. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. 20 minutes to go in this one. Possession given away, unfortunately. Vitali Janelt. Losing possession. Now, what can they do from here? Giving it a try. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Two nil now, and back underway. Really good challenge. Now, who can he play it to? 
real chance. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Already closing him down here. Good work from Brentford to win the ball back. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And let's give credit to the defending. Pereira. A bit sloppy in possession. Da Silva. Gives it a go. He got a good palm on it. Corner coming up. And they will make the change now. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it has come to nothing. Oh, that's a really good run. He takes aim, and the keeper more than equal to it. Now sending it in, and the danger still on. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game, and this could be a dramatic finale. Well, here it is again, and when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that, it's a poor clearance, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Well, two one it is here. And he's made headway. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. In position here to protect the ball. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. He's in behind. And it's in! The equaliser! A goal to change the equation and stun the crowd. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. Goal for Brentford. And so the referee brings the 90 minutes to an end. All even here.